Hello everybody, welcome back to Eltrius Does a Podcast, thinly disguised as Dead Cells. I can't speak <coughs> nachos. <coughs> oh heck, <coughs> I had a, a nacho-based cheese sandwich. Is it, do you say nacho or nacho or what? I mean, I find myself going somewhere in between because I don't want anybody to, you know, be rude to me. <laughs> uh who knows what to say? Um, I don't. I already mind flooded by this um, episode because I don't like any of this. No, let's let's try something that we don't know if we like because there's no point trying something we know we don't like. If you see what I mean? Oh, that could be bad with the. the... Yeah, it could be okay. It could be worse. Uh you stand underneath me so I don't have to do any. Effort, and there we go. Right, so we're going to try and uh, either get through this. Uh, the the lots of kills way or with the lots of speed way. So far, I think we're doing the lots of kills way. And honestly, the lots of speed way does tend to be fairly tricky. This fire thingy is okay. And I'm very grateful to these things for just sort of giving up on attacking me when it's when the going gets tough it's tough to sort of give up and and I, I, I use my shield who is this person now playing Dead Cells? We don't recognise him so there I was oh by the way <clears throat> phones 2018? 2019? wait what? phones 2019 uh, I have a phone from maybe 2016 it's a it's the S6, so you know how it is. You, you, can't, you can't spend all your life just constantly upgrading phones, okay? But also, you can't spend your life upgrading a phone at all if you never earn any damn money, which is why a long time ago I changed jobs, which is why there's a lot less content on the channel recently until I can, um, you know, either figure out a better schedule or simply the next thing that I'm going to have to do. If that's not good enough, is to just quit <laughs> again, you know? Um, however, what was I saying? Something to do with not doing any work anymore. Yeah, um, <clears throat> can't really afford to... You got. I'm not an Apple loser type nerd, right? So I'm not going to sell my soul. Did you hear about a sort of thing on Reddit? So it's probably old news. I think it was old news. I don't remember what um, era it was, but some some dude is now permanently bedridden for selling his kidney. Excuse me, itchy nose. He sold his kidney so that he could afford the new iPhone a few years ago. I think it was the iPhone nine, maybe. Does that sound right? Do you see? That's the state of the world. <laughs> All right, that's the state of that one person, but it's not. I hesitate. I don't want to uh, get people all riled up and you know on the on your bandwagon there for um, for for bashing Apple people because yeah, bash. Don't. That's not what I'm trying to avoid. What I'm saying is an isolated incident does not uh, a story make. You know, you can't just say oh Apple people they're all brainwashed and religious and fanatics and etc. I mean, to some extent they are, but. In this case, it's very, very easy to accidentally or even intentionally just go overboard on how... Let's see if it's a better shield. Not a better shield. Um, how much we take from such stories, you can very easily make yourself look like the fool by believing that a story that applies to one human being on the entire planet is somehow uh, indicative of the the attitude of the entire uh, what have you and etc right so yes there is a, a general trend for uh, apple nerds to do things like this no this is not really indicative of the level of extremity of such people but y yes, I suppose there's no reason that you wouldn't, oops, uh, you know, at least take some, take some joy in not being one of them <laughs> or not being that one. You know, I know that 
uh, some people watching this probably have Apple products. A lot of people with Apple products, I am quite aware and fully happy to admit, are rational and well-balanced people. Uh, I don't have any Apple products because I can't afford it. For the same reason that I currently have a Galaxy S6 Edge uh, and not literally any other phone that is available to us in the year 2019, <clears throat> soon to be 2020. So, you know, a certain level of personal responsibility has to be taken. But yes, there was somebody. Obviously, I didn't verify this independently because I am not a reporter who is now bedridden for selling his kidney so he could afford the iPhone 9 or whatever it was. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'm noticing that the desktop audio on this uh, particular thingy here is not doing anything. <laughs> What's happening? Can you hear that? I don't think you can hear that. Add. Why aren't you recording the desktop audio? Excuse me. <laughs> you want to do your job? I've got game capture on. That's working fine. Properties. Device. Uh, this one? Does that work? <clears throat> uh, yes, but it's very quiet. I don't know how loud that should be, so I'm going to turn it down again. Apologies for that, but at least I noticed this time. Does that mean I did a whole other episode without... I double-checked that. I'm sure I did. Uh, yeah. One of these, definitely. I think this one. Much as I like the Fire Blast and what it's doing for us. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I think I'd, like, I'd rather go with something I'm familiar with. And that is considerably better. This time. Oh, we do have new stuff here as well. We've got a frantic sword. We don't need it because we managed to make it through. We have a new uh, mutation to invest in, so let's just do that. And then you... Oh. <laughs> I got, I got a, a fist for that, so I'll just leave it there for now. <clears throat> and we'll probably go with the uh, brutality mutations again. We managed to get quite far in the last episode, and I do apologise if that entire episode was uh, no game audio. <clears throat> I my voice, <coughs> like I say, I have had nachos. I I put them in a sandwich and I crush them because that is what you do. I didn't have any proper crisps, which is a big deal, uh, because what <laughs> what is this? Uh, what what household do I live in? What country is this? Okay. How am I supposed to survive on no crisps? But we have a, a an entire box full of nachos, not like loose. They they're wrapped up and they're all different types of nachos because it seems to be impossible to find nachos that don't just immediately suck. Why did I get hit straight away? That is not I I find that deeply unpleasant. Please don't hit me straight away. Sure, I will take the kebab. I remember now there was a kebab at the end of the or midway through the previous episode, but Oops. <clears throat> that didn't work too well, did it? Uh, but uh, who needs a kebab when you got healed anyway? See, they happened in exactly the same... Uh, just the right frequency that I couldn't dodge them both. So what do you want me to do? Look, I'm doing my best! What is a boy to do? We get into the room. <clears throat> and the radiator is on full blast, as mentioned. Ad nauseum, no doubt. And then... Um, so I've remembered since the last time I started this story that we were instructed to wash <clears throat> before the um oh come on to wash the night before uh the night before ideally the uh the, the operation and we were given these these sort of wipes which are the weirdest thing uh, we were told that if they caused you know, skin irritation is not too much of a worry. It's just an antibacterial thing that it coats your skin in, a, 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 as they meant, uh, that's what they said anyway, in a protective layer, which sounds quite bizarre to me because, you know, it's almost sci fi level <laughs> medical prowess that I'm pretty sure we don't have on this planet, let alone in the NHS. And it's 
And it does make you, even to somebody else, the, the feel of your skin after using them is, I'm pressing the button and it's doing nothing. Please. You must believe me. <laughs> My game is very sick. <clears throat> uh, I even in, you know, 2019, um, we put these things on and it leads to sort of a, a veneer, a patina on your skin, which is extremely strange. Uh, to feel uh, really wasn't worth the damage we took to come to this place and get a thing that I immediately sold uh, and that is in theory a, a sort of a, some sort of antibacterial magic that prevents I don't know further bacterial things happening so that basically you wash yourself in the bath and then you wipe yourself down with this stuff and then you don't have to wash the next day because you're obviously getting up early because you've got to be at the hospital by half past seven because that's when they want you there because it's, it's strange the way it works. They have sort of... Hang on. A cup of tea is necessary here. I don't want either of these. And they cost the same, so... I'm happy with the shield. I've got ice from the weapon that I'm using. And <clears throat> they do this... They have a sort of a, a, a rotor... Rather than having you show up in time for your appointment or, or whatever you're having done. They have you show up either at, I think basically it's half past seven or half past 12. It seems odd, but maybe they have like a six hour day. Um, sure. Um, I don't care. Uh, <clears throat> so irrespective of what time you're, I nearly said lesson, what time your um, appointment is, you're either showing up at the first one or the second one of these two um, time slots. And uh, uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> it's, it's, it smacks of ancient and highly inefficient practices. Time was, of course, and it, you have to be slightly sympathetic to some extent because back in the day, being able to uh, organize people would have been made much more efficient if you could do everybody at the same time, essentially. So you have an influx of people at half past seven. <clears throat> and these are the people for the morning surgery slots. And then you have an influx of people later and then, you know, you've either made it or you get skipped. Which makes perfect sense if you're using a, a paper-based filing system and you have to, you know, first of all, it's not your only job. So everything you do is based on this paper-based file system, not just, um, I don't like this. <laughs> Let me out. You know, everything you're about is this same paper-based filing system. And I, I'm sorry, I'm really trying not to get hit here. <laughs> is why this is taking so long. Because I am aware that if I come too close to the... Yes, you bastard! I couldn't even get past it. Did you see that? There was nothing I could do to get out of that situation there. Because I, I accidentally triggered the damn thing. So upsetting. Um, <clears throat> where was it? In, in the past, before, you know, computers if you had to deal with that many people, obviously you'd want to deal with them all at once and then go and get on with something else. You know, it stands to reason. But now you check yourself in. <laughs> you don't need a human being at all to deal with you. And the fact that we're still using um, systems that were based on trying to make something bad better, that have now been completely superseded and replaced by something, you know, still bad, but still better you don't you don't even need a receptionist unless you need to ask questions right i'm very upset by the way that just after my 30 kills the uh baddies showed up one day i will get through this with 60 kills no hits but it, it is not this day <clears throat> apologies for my terrible play <clears throat> now that we have computerized systems now that we can literally just go to a machine and by yourself 
put your name in and it goes, oh, welcome. Thanks for coming. Now that we have, we are constantly connected to information systems all the time, right? The, the receptionist is there for the elderly or the infirm or, I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot of infirms at the hospital, but I mean sort of the, the chronically unwell, the people who have various disabilities, whatever it is that means that you can't be constantly uh, in possession and in constant use of your mobile phone, for example, um, which is the thing I'm clearly talking about, um, the mobile phone. If you... Some people can't use a mobile phone. Uh, why? Roll twice. It's not hard. Uh, and fair enough. Some people don't have a mobile phone. Some people can't use a mobile phone. Some people are uh, refuse to use a mobile phone. And honestly, there's no reason why we should force them to. Uh, but, you know, we most people are contactable. Most people can browse the internet. Most people have data. Most people have connectivity all the time essentially except for you know in the heart of london where all the towers are then it's unthinkable that you would be able to actually get a 4g connection anywhere at all uh but the point i'm making very clumsily and also sarcastically is please can we just tell people when they are needed <laughs> you know we don't need to be in this situation where you show up at 7.30 on the off chance that there's going to be space for you in the... I'm pressing the button and it's not doing anything. On the off chance that there's going to be space for you in the, the morning round of surgery. Just, just have a, a rotor of people. How come the first one didn't <laughs> hurt me? You know, have, have a round of people. And then... Why? I, whatever. And then call them. Just phone me when you need me. I'll be there. Right? Give me, give me half an hour. Give me 20 minutes. I don't know. How hard could it possibly be <laughs> to, to use the technology available to all of mankind? And then, you know, all you need to do is say, do you mind if we contact you by phone? And you say, yes or no. And if you say, Yes, then they will contact you by phone when it's your turn to get prepped for surgery. Because obviously they're not doing everybody at the same time, are they? This is just preposterous. They are going to be doing people in increments. So you end up just sitting around waiting for basically ever. I didn't mean to do that many. I was kind of lost count somehow. Um, you're basically sitting around waiting forever. I should probably stop giving this dude all this stuff to be honest. Um, trying to chill out because you anxious sort of situation right you're going under a general anesthetic and you're going to wake up very disoriented possibly in a psychotic state so just let us sleep in the morning and then bring us in when you want us unless you're going to do a thing straight away at half past seven but if you're the first in the list and they say show up at half past seven they're fine but why does everybody who's going to be in the morning have to show up at half past seven it doesn't make sense Oh, nice. Then, <laughs> you can, and anybody who says no, well, you say, well, come in at half past seven because we can't contact you to come in at the correct time. Yeah, I'm good. I'm not really using my skills so unoften, so often that I, I find it they're not available when I want them. There's also, you know, actual generic skills down here. What? These are terrible. These crits. That could be amazing if we had a crit based weapon. Which we do.
What are these for? <laughs> Get me back up here where the good ones are. I do get an active speed buff quite often, actually, so that's nice. So, we need to do a bath. We could do a shower, but we might as well do a bath. This is just a door to think, right? It's not a boss. I'm going to do this. Let's see what happens. Oh, worth it. You only 10 as well. What happened to that being 30? Was that the door? Is that when you break a door? I think it might be when you break a door. Right, you can't just roll through that, apparently. Hey, why are you shut at the door? I don't understand the law behind this particular place, by the way. Excuse me. <laughs> Go away. What? <laughs> Turn around before I threw it and that weirded everything out. Um, so we started to do a bath. Jen prefers baths. Again, with that. Nice. Um, and it's just generally easier to help somebody in the bath and help somebody in the shower. Mostly because you don't have to try and stand in a tiny bathtub with... Right, I remember. The new guys. <laughs> um... Let's keep going. <laughs> or should I make a, a double episode? What do you think? Uh, it's only a 20 minute episode, but it's 20 minutes. It's exactly the wrong time to die. Well, as soon, in order to get a good run, I had to die. I will take a shield. But I am now back with a run that is going to be... We don't basically don't need to talk about this quite so much. Uh, already we've got the Death Orb, which is amazing, because um, I, I only just unlocked it, and I did so by accident, and then I sold it because I didn't want to unlock it. And I've got it back, so that's really nice. So, we did, and remember, first of all, please remember how utterly frustrated I was at this point by everything that was happening. The complete incompetence and absurdity uh, of the people... The, the hospitality people. It was their job to be good at this. And and it's just the sheer indifference was just mind blowing. It's very English. Not even gonna yeah. This is the sort of run where we would like a good way of reducing our cooldowns. Hmm. I do like the repeater crossbow. But it's messing with our colours. I and mean, we might as well sell it. I, I, I'd like the money. Oh, I deliberated about that for a long time. I'm happy to agree. But I think we made the right decision because why mess with the thing that I'm already managing, you know? I, I don't care enough about that to go and get it. To risk getting hit in order to get something that Essentially useless to me. So, oh god. Peter's out now, huh? Oh, actually, it was really helpful that that thing was available. You don't get a reward after the troll thingy. It's just, no, here you go. Those are baddies going to kill you. Yeah, nice, thanks. I need it. Somehow. Bag, yes. And then, so the, the radiator in the window, right? And then the hot and the room and the stuff and the taste in the air and I can't breathe. We need bath. So I've opened the window and I've turned the... No, I haven't turned the radiator off at this point. Um, but we, we do need a bath. So we're all we're sweating and dying and we're sort of getting sort of out. And then uh, there's a sign on the door that says, can you please not uh, leave the door open? You have a bath or a shower. Because it set the fire alarm off. <laughs> uh, no. What? The, I. You want me to sit in a steam laden room. So that your fire alarm doesn't. You know. Randomly go. 
I thought these things were capable of differentiating between steam and smoke. You know, I've never set the fire alarm off in a hotel room by boiling the kettle that they give you. They don't give it you. <laughs> you can't take it with you. But there is a kettle in the hotel room. You know, it's not. It's, you know, that's not setting the, the smoke alarm off. So I think you can just chill. What is happening here? Enough. <laughs> right, good. Well done, everybody. It, it was in the hotel last time we went as well. It's the same hotel. Remember, I never wanted to go to this thing ever again, and yet here we were. So we've done that. <laughs> we've shut the door. Though. I forgot to shut the door, so actually we haven't shut the door. And I'm thinking it's getting hotter and hotter in the room as well, somehow. As if it hadn't been on all day long already. <laughs> um, uh, yes, I'll take an infantry grenade at great expense to the nation. And then... We... Well, there's not much about the bath, to be honest. There's a bit of a red herring in the story. Because that was fine, although... Here's the thing I dislike about baths. Is that it feels to me the good reason to have a bath is for... Um, it's relaxing it, being in a big vat of really hot water <laughs> is good for you it, you know it helps your muscles and stuff like that I don't really want to go anything else. let's go this way um, can we should we go back to where we were I'm determined to get through the sewers without um, getting hit <laughs> or at least taking so much damage that I can't do my 60. Uh, so having a bath, it's good, especially for Jen, with the muscles and the ouch. And, you know, most people watching this have probably met Jen and know about how much she complains. And then, <laughs> that's really rude. I don't mean it that way. Oh, that's nice. I was deliberating over whether to have two ice grenades, but I think I'm going to keep my death orb for now because it did was really well when that troll chest exploded us. And I'm happy with my X. So, uh, was a weird thing to say. Happy with my X. Happy with the thing I've got on X. So let's just go through this door. Um, reforge that to... Burning sounds good. And then also burning. Yeah, fine, cool. We will take this because it does more damage. And then we will take this. We don't need to. And then, cool, go. Um, so, yeah, having a bath is way better than having a shower. Because first of all, you don't have to stand up if you want to have a bath. Right? A big problem with bathing is the, the requirement to stand up. But, uh, well, so the big problem with showering is requirement to stand up, whereas uh, a big benefit to bathing is that you do not have to do that. I just paused ever so slightly after I, uh, here you go. <laughs> oh, I think it has to hit something and then it peters out if it doesn't. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Sorry, I, this game does make me, no, I pressed the wrong button. I meant to, I tried to block it, but actually I just did it wrong. So I've, I've got the right idea. You know, the instinct's there, it's just press the right button next time, you know. <sighs> so we bathe. Because you don't have to stand up, and, and it's good, it's muscle relaxing, and, you know, it's relaxing, relaxing as well, because remember, we're going into the hospital tomorrow for something we're not entirely sure about. Uh, we're very anxious about. So, a bath sounds like a really nice idea. So we have... Oh, Pillock. I wish this thing like gave me like something for all the things it chewed up. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, I can't remember what's going on. So we're sweltering and dying of heat, and we've got the bath. So the bath is making more steam in a, a hotter room. And ow. Why did that one take so much longer to explode than I'm used to? I'm pressing the button and it's just not. F 
I might have to get a new controller. <laughs> you know, I know it's it's cliche and lame to blame your controller, but at some point, if the controller is just not doing the thing when you're pushing the button, you have to wonder, is it actually really me? Or am I correct in that something is awry? Ugh. I don't know if I need biters, to be honest. I should have checked which one sold for more, but who cares? It's because we're dying, you know? We're dying of heat, we're dying of bathing, and we're... Don't forget we've got the dog here with us as well. She's doing gross female dog blood things all over the place, which is no good to me. Uh, <laughs> not a fan of this. Um, it's a natural process, don't get me wrong. But, like, does it have to happen at the point where we're trying to... And, and the dogs cost us extra, and the windows cost us extra, and I, I please, <laughs> please, can we just go into a hotel and then it's correct? I don't want that. Um, and it's easy, and everything's good, and we can just have a nice time. And then, so we do the the bath, and it takes forever, and it gets hotter and hotter. And I think I remember the only thing I remember, which is what's really confusing me, is that. I hmm. seventy two hundred is a lot for the same shield, but slightly worse. Um, I, I remember I was lying on the bed, but I th I think I was trying to sleep, and I re that was what I remember being the thing that triggered me to get up and see the radiator could be turned off, which obviously it could. So I don't know why it took me so long to try. Maybe it didn't. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe I did try. It's it's a few weeks ago now. So we tried. We turned the radiator down, and I was trying to cool the place down. But once I had turned off this radiator, it didn't really seem to make much difference because um the the window had a really heavy curtain over it for a start, which did not help. But itchy nose, so you are not helping either. Not really using my shield. I seem to have forgotten I've got one. Um, so the 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 curtain on the window is preventing any breeze getting in. But even if I pulled the window the curtain aside, as you do when there is a breeze coming in or not coming in, the breeze didn't really move in because there was no through draft in the first place. There was nothing on the other side. Okay. You you tend to need a reason. The, the air won't come in unless it's got a reason to do so. So. It was drifting in slowly, but only where the why <laughs> only where the actual window was. So it took ages for the room to cool down. We were dying, try to go to sleep, etc. But it's like throughout the entire night, it was either way too hot or way too cold, <laughs> and the the sheets did nothing. You know, they, they weren't... Do you, do you find this about, you know, bed sheets? Because it's happens to me a lot. It's that the, the bed sheet, when it's on, hardly does anything, but it, it's enough that you are then melting for the entirety of the night. And if you take it off, if you sleep without a duvet, either A, you can't sleep because there's nothing on top of you, uh, like the weight of the duvet is comforting enough that if you don't have it, you just can't sleep. Or it's absolutely freezing. And this is, you know, the, the thinnest duvet that you own is either way too hot or way too cold. This is kind of like that, except... No. Kind of, but also no. Um, <laughs> we either were too hot and the duvet was on, or we were too hot and the duvet was cold, or we were too cold and then those two situations. There was no, there's no way of sort of alternating the existence of the duvet to decide whether we were too hot or not. There was only a way to alternate the existence of the window. So, uh, and the radiator. So we turn, I think, I don't think we turn the radiator back on again for the entirety of our stay. Is that it? No. Because it was just too much. And then, um, so 
the <laughs> the other problem with the window is that it was in London. So it was extremely bright out there. You... <sighs> Die! Did you see that? It was swing, swing, off. Swing, swing, off. I'm like, mate, leave me alone. I, if it weren't for this elite, I think we could have made it to... Uh, as many uh, as many as 60 kills but honestly there might not have been 60 kills for me to make it to so that's a shame oh hello we might as well do this because we can just leave straight away what's down there anyway does that remind you of Diablo 2 anybody I never really played Diablo 1 so I, I couldn't comment on that uh I think I, I kind of prefer the Death Orb. The Death Orb's been pretty good, but just doing burst damage straight away is going to be really good. So, uh, right, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Trying to um, deal with the stress and frustration and anxiety of this situation. Not helped by the fact that we, excuse me, excuse not helped by the fact that we cannot cool this damn room down. Can you go up there, please? Thank you. <laughs> it's stressing me out as well. It's going to be a reckoning. Or two. Oh. Huh. 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 Roll. Huh. Nice. Oh, we made it. Not like it matters too much. All we got was that damn rune as well. I think I'll go back to this prison. I want to learn about those new birdie things. I was telling you about my phone. I was in the bath myself. I started going to the gym again. Finally, I went uh, a few weeks ago. Because of Jen's new job, not to brag, everybody from Jen's new job, but... We only get uh, able to pay 25 quid for the year's um, membership. I wanted, to, I wanted to change one of these, didn't I? Might as well plus plus them, right? So we've got green, that'll do. Don't mind too much. There was something, what was the one down here that, oh, I can do that. Uses 0.32 seconds with each critical hit. Which are very easy to enable right now. But it's one second for each enemy killed in melee combat. I like, I like this one actually. With the... With the... Oh. Oops. <laughs> oh, that one. You're not really doing me very many favours on filling this thing up, I'll be honest. <clears throat> the the gym only cost us £25, right? This was so good for us last time. But I want to learn about the birdies. Let's um, do that separately. So, and that's for me as well. Not just, that's not just Jen's membership. That's for each of us. Which is amazing, because the only reason I would ever join a gym is if it was so cheap that it was almost unthinkable not to bother and we went to see the uh, I personally went to see the uh, personal trainer it's done that quiet thing again in the previous episode when it did that silence thing I'm going to assume that uh, you didn't notice because it wasn't making any noise anyway by the way I'm going to need some feedback on this episode because I am at a complete loss to determine whether this is a, a sensible volume or not well that bird just hopped around a bunch reminded me of an old video game and then died which video game? No idea. It's, uh, it's a thing I call floating nostalgia. <laughs> I am very aware that I've seen something like that before in the past and that it is bringing back nostalgic feelings. Like, oh, I remember that. That was... And then I... have no idea what it was. What on earth could it have been? I like it was Dizzy or something like that. It was that era and that weirdness of game. Oh... 
I pressed the... Did you forget about the shield? Because I haven't used it for all this time. <laughs> that was actually a very effective use of a shield, considering I've forgotten I had one, uh, and I haven't really been making any use of it whatsoever. I should probably learn how to parry the birdie things that have shown up. Yeah, you. Right, you just keep going, I understand. I recognise that I got to my 30 there, but... Uh, honestly, I'm not too bothered when it's something this new. The the toxic sewers, I, there's no excuse for me to be making the sorts of mistakes that I make down there, which get me hit for... Uh, to, to lose my my progress, but... Place like this, who really cares? I'm not interested in these. There we go. So I went to the gym uh, a few weeks ago to talk to the personal trainer, and basically, I'll say to you what I said to her, which is that I, I just need a... Um, I, I keep wanting to say regime, but I really mean routine, you know, a program. Something to do that I can get on with on my own you know, time. Which, it turns out, I can do. I just have to actually do it. Um, and it was several weeks between going to see her and actually starting <laughs> to to go through this routine that's been set up for me. And literally all I want to do is you know, get to the point where I'm not just constantly complaining that everything hurts all the time. <laughs> it's my current goal. These birds. Oh, you've got three eyeballs. Three? I don't feel like I can uh, parry that. Because I was trying to press the parry button. I will continue to practice, but I very much do not feel like that was parryable at all. I'm not sure if that's even a thing. So I, I started going to the gym, and I did go to the gym, but one thing I need to sort of re-establish to myself... Oh, I see. We haven't picked up any of those yet. Uh, I need to reestablish for myself what my why, what my limits are, what my uh, sort of pace should be. I think pace is a good way of saying it. Which is that uh, I, I oh there is a key down there. I have to go back for it. Only one, a whole level. Not very fun. Uh, so I, I overdid it, but I only need a little bit of it, which is, uh, there's a sort of a 15, 20 minute uh, dad dancing machine thingy, cross trainer machine, where I just pushed the button and I said do it for 15 minutes, and I basically picked the one with too high of a um, variation between the easy mode and the hard mode. It was the one where it, it just goes easy for a while and then hard for a bit and then easy for a while. And the difference between easy and hard was bigger than I had anticipated. So I got it wrong. I don't really want any of this. So the most likely thing to be any good is this one. Which is... Still bad. <laughs> These... Things I picked up to begin with are actually really good. Ramparts or Ancient Sewers? Sure, let's just die in the Ancient Sewers. We want to die anyway because this is the second run in the first in this episode. Now it's 40 minutes long. Uh, my mistake. Bosh. Nice. So I'm not going to give you anything this time. And I'm going to make you reforge. Um, Actually... He's not mad at me for breaking his door, which is nice. Blocks attacks and critical damage if parry is successful. Should we just try this new shield? What have we got? 5 plus. That's way better. Let's oil more damage. Let's just tr try a new shield. I can't even sell that one. That's my first shield. A Fisher Price shield. And I'll upgrade it. We get our sh survival back again. One mutation required to take. Honestly, I'm thinking that we might take a mixed build here and use the um 
HP after parrying, which is really useful. Oh, now we get a full one. Fair enough. So I, I'd already. It's the first time I'd done most of those things to the extent that I had, because obviously when I was going through the routine in the first place, it was just sort of uh, here's how to do each one, malarkey. But I didn't um, didn't do them to the fullest. I didn't do all the reps of every single thing. That was extremely close. So this is the first time I'd done all my reps of, reps of everything, including my full warm up. And I was doing my full cardio, and um, I did it just simply by misunderstanding the way the machine worked. It happens. I'm not embarrassed about it. It's just that, you know, write it down, remember it, move on. Yeah? Uh, I will take plus 50% HP. See you trying. Enough with the platforming. <laughs> I'm bad at this. I'd like to avoid it. Um, so my legs hurt, is what I'm saying. I, I did nearly give myself a heart attack. That's neither here nor there. Don't worry about that. I'm alive, mostly to tell the story, but I my legs were hurting. So I had a bath. <laughs> That's my point. I had a bath because, you know, as you do, do I want this? Possibly. Let's try it. I prefer the lightning over the whip. This could be a cool whip. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. That was a... That was a... I was going to say American Dad. The other one. The less... Direct... <clears throat> The slightly more subtle comedy version, which is a uh, uh, family guy. Although it is exactly the same people. It's really just a case of being in the right place at the right time. But the second time, way easier because they've stopped moving. Ah! That was a mildly unfair sort of situation. If I have to judge it, I had a bath. Bath, bath, bath. Or I could have this. Five plus. As good as this whip is, I probably would have um, bought this if the whip hadn't shown up anyway. So let's pretend that's what happened <laughs> and move on. There's a scroll that I missed. And I was having a bath because my muscles were hurting and I was tired and I had some time to myself. And, you know, you got to take the rough with the smooth. I don't do the job that I do so that I can just be sad the whole time. No, I, I, I do it so that every now and then I can have a bath. Look, I don't have to justify me having a bath to you, the valued consumer. Um, although I, I, I am. <laughs> because it seems... I'm just trying to be nice. Just show a little friendliness. I, I don't have to do it. But I can do it. But I will do it. And you know what? I think we should all feel a little bit more valued as a result of that. Because you feel that I... My justification of having a bath is necessary for you to live and survive uh, the, the next day. And me wanting to do that means that I value you for your... Uh, your viewership, and I value your opinion, and I respect you as a, a person. Well, as more than one piece. Why did just... Where is the jump off without being a dick button? Who cares? Leave me alone. Um, but... So it's not uncommon to take electronics into the bathroom. Normally I take my Chromebook flip, my Acer Chromebook flip, Honestly, that device, I bought it 2016. I was saying about my phone, which I think is from 2016, but I bought it last year for 50 quid off of a guy at previous work who 
was upgrading somehow. <laughs> I don't know what job you're doing. That means you can upgrade and also afford to buy a house and all that sort of thing, but whatever. Um, where did you come from? Thanks for the ability to practice versus the uh, tentacles once in a while, actually. Where are you? There we go. Um, but... Oh, I didn't even see those spikes because I was so preoccupied with the bats. I was having a bath because I was in pain. Such considerable pain. Oh, help me. And then, um, I've, yeah, my, my Acer Chromebook Flip, which I, I bought quite a long time ago. It was 300 quid at the time, but it's a full-on computer. It's got a keyboard and everything. And that was the sort of time when phones and things cost 300 quid as well. You can get, like, the new Samsung is like a grand. <laughs> it's ludicrous. Um, and uh, I say it's ludicrous, full in the knowledge that I started this episode off with a minor rant against Apple and people who buy that sort of thing. But I still think a thousand pounds for a piece of electronics is not necessarily something that I... <laughs> Like, this entire computer that I'm using right now that can record Doom 2016 at 1080p on full everything cost about a grand, you know? What is that? I don't want to pay for something that I don't know what it is. On the other hand, everything else is really good. What then? Might as well open it and see what it is. Flint 2. Hold the attack to inflict a critical hit and create a flaming trail dealing to... I think I remember this. And it comes with vampirism, which is actually independently attached to it. It's like the plus or the asterisk, the, the diamond -y thing that you can see on some of them. Uh, yeah, that star there. That's a good example. There is a grenade. Let's try it. See if it's better grenade. The three plus. Yeah, it's, it's better. Um, the, yeah, it's a good, good piece of kit. The Acer, because... Because it is. <laughs> we want to do the insufferable crypt. Is there anything else I would like to do? Yeah, how about the rest of the floor? Oh, God, why? So, you can either fight the spikes, or fight the spikes. Whatever. Game has got it out for me. It's like having it in for me, but worse. That's telekinesis, Kyle. Um, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. I am one of those people who will go to bat for. Uh, I moved. <laughs> Shut up. I think the correct thing to do there was uh, roll. Oh yeah, that's right. Roll. How about you go f yourself? You effing effer. Yep, that was horrible. Don't do that again. Uh, for touchscreens on things, I have a touchscreen 13 inch laptop, <laughs> which is, uh, okay. I really like touchscreens because you, you literally can touch it. And I find that to be very useful because I get really frustrated trying to control the, ooh. It's nice, but not good enough. Um, the, the mouse, especially on laptops, you know, is so frustrating to... It's just so slow, boys and girls. It's just, I want to I wanna strangle things because I'm constantly fighting against the very concept of, <laughs> of just simple interfaces. And, oh, come on. Anyway, let's go to the place. Might as well get some money back for these while we're on the way. Um, but I, I, I will always go to bat for, oh, I can't even sell those. Yeah, but I want to, yeah. Yeah, but I want it, yeah. Um, Touchscreens. And I bought this because it was a... The flip device is the one where it's a normal laptop, but it bends like heckin' yoga so that you can... There we go. Uh, fold it into a tablet, essentially, and that would turn this keyboard off so you can hold it like a tablet without accidentally pressing all the buttons, which is good thinking. Um... And I've had that for a long time, and I take that into the bathroom so I can watch YouTube. 
Because not only do I make videos for YouTube, but I watch them too. Don't tell anybody. Nice. Uh, moving on. You know how I was saying that normally I can get through an entire episode to the point where I can um, put purple? You know, actually give the, the other guy all of my stuff. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. That happened last time as well. Just pay some attention to the game that you're playing and stop talking crap. Stop talking. All right. I can't. <laughs> I tried. I mean, it's conjunctivitis. Tiv con conjunctivious. Not conjunctivitis, actually. Uh, can you parry this thing? Can you parry these? I don't know. We'll never know. Impossible. You don't have a back, do you? <gasps> my phone's buzzing in my pocket and it tickles. Oh no, one hit, not too bad. I've got to know so much. I think it's because I had a cup of tea. The temperature of it is coming back to, to get me. It's going to take a while, everybody. I actually got you that time, which is nice. Please be on fire. Um, but, uh, so I, yeah, I take that in most of the time. But what I also, whoa, how good am I? What I also tend to take into the bath, or actually I don't tend to take into the bath, which is why I never learned this before, is my actual phone. I only took it in because Jen was talking to me uh, on Discord because she was at work. Ow. Um, so I had it with me just so I could respond to text messages and stuff. And the other thing we tend to do, to take into the bath, is a towel so that you can dry your hands off if you want to then use your electronic device. This is not fun. Leave me alone. <laughs> Why were there different colours of them? I didn't know you were there. So I want to recount. No one told me that this was going to happen. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? Stop! <laughs> Enough! There you are. Oh, having to pay this much attention is no fun at all. Uh, and... Here's one thing I hate about being a grown-up, is having to um, having to deal with previous people's decisions of the house that you live in. <laughs> like, if... It's probably true of, of your parents as well. Or, or whoever house... You, who, whomsoever's house you live in when you are uh, not a grown-up. Like Pre-grown-up living. I don't really remember that, to be honest with you. I am very old. I'm sure there must have been a time... Uh, I probably won't do that just yet, actually. I'll wait for the healing. But in this house, you know, there's so much to change. Nice. In order to... Um, sort of make it our own. And you will tend to find lots and lots of... Things to complain about if you look hard enough. It's easy. Just keep looking. <laughs> there's always something to complain about. It's a British pastime. If you can't find something to complain about... Then are you even British? I recognise many of you are probably not. I am pressing this Y button, by the way. It's, it is literally just ignoring me. But that's alright. It was doing it with the X button as well, so I can't complain, I suppose. It's done it. Healing monster. Oh, mistimed that. I kind of preempted it, but got it way wrong. It's okay. Uh, is these it's the shower curtain it's not a curtain it's a piece of glass let me tell you something <laughs> let me tell you something about showers and curtains and glass um I'm in the shower because I want to clean myself I'm in the bath because I want to clean myself and also just sort of hang out for a while in a you know uh, a context in which it is not unlikely that I'm going to be splashing around, causing water to go hither and thither, you know? I suppose the only nice thing that can be said about the 
uh, the the silly you know glass shower curtain is that you can use it to pin your hand towel between the edge of the glass and I somehow rolled in place, avoided one thing and got hit by the next. Explain. Uh, the edge of the bath and, and, and the, the piece of glass, which is, you know, small, uh, <laughs> small amount of uh, comfort to me because when I'm actually in the shower, it's extremely frustrating that I can't step out of the... Uh, I don't understand people in general, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. Let me tell you about uh, showering, <laughs> in, in my humble opinion. When I am trying to do a shower, I like to apply soap to my body from a, a little loofah brush thingy. You know, the... Um, Basically, anything that helps you froth up the soap. I did that thing again where I accidentally turned around at the last second. Anything that helps you froth up your soap or shower gel or whatever it is you're using, you apply it to your loofah, your bun, your blob, your majigger, and then this has a whole bunch of... You know, you, you are now... You now have a lather or a lather if you're posh and wrong. Um... Of all the soap that... Hey, enough of that. Haha, <laughs> I killed you with a downstab. Oh, spiked the ground and got you on the way. You, and it's all fluffy and then you, you scrub your body with it. Woof, 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 like that. And it's amazing and... I don't want firebrands. Do the... Yes. Sell this. We haven't done conjunctivitis for ages, actually, have we? Boy, wave of denial. It repels all nearby enemies. It's, it's a purple, you see, and it's... It's not how I roll, brother. Sanctuary or... You try and make me go back to that sanctuary. I will... I'll kick... I'll grab on to the door jam. You will have to drag me away from it, kicking and screaming. There's nothing you can do. That was worth it. I appreciate that. You can have that. Thank you. Uh, you, I uh, might want to upgrade. Let me have a look at, because we have, I haven't got any money. Listen, despite how much money I just picked up, I haven't got enough money to do anything there. Fine. Um, I want to stand outside the shower stream to do the soaping, because if I stand inside it, the soap washes off of the loofah slash shower blob. Before I've applied it to me, and it's supposed to be applied to me because that's how I get clean. Right? That is literally the one job that it has is to uh, clean me uh, without being washed down the drain first. So I stand outside of the, and I've done this my entire life. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Why? All for that? I know you just go down or something. I don't know down. Probably just do a down B, right? No, down A. But this is not Smash Bros. I can't remember. I really wish I had a a, a switch actually, because I would very much appreciate playing the new Smash Bros. But I still haven't managed to do so. Not fair. I'm honestly wondering if um, the green is better for us here. Um. So, part of the necessary features of your uh, your average, you know, shower is that whenever I get in it and want to wash myself, is I want to, at that point, not be in the shower stream. I want to stand away from it. When you have a, like a piece of glass that just covers half of the bath and nothing else. Oh, why? Um, <laughs> basically, this causes the water to go everywhere. And it's, it defeats... Like, 
I, it's not just that it's an annoying in that sense, but I do not see the appeal of... Can you stop? Let me try this again. There we go. There we go. I don't see the appeal of just this piece of... I would rather have a, a secure and, you know, a, a curtain that makes me feel like I, I'm actually in control of this thing. Whereas this piece of glass... And the rest of the time, it's just annoyingly cold and indifferent. You know, you, you bash your elbow on it or something and it's flipping... It's chilly. I'm trying to have a nice warm shower here and there's this frozen piece of glass next to me. Constantly... Ugh. I could rant about that all day as well. So is there anything in my life that I cannot rant about? No. And why would that be? Um, but this thing does have the benefit of... Did I... Oh, that was the treasure. It was vampirism. Brilliant. Um, it does have the benefit that I can put my hand towel for purposes of drying my hands in order to use my electronic devices. And and hold it. Uh, oh! <laughs> Move. Got oh, stun locked a little bit. Oh, it's rubbish. Oh, excuse me for sniffing, but I'm feeling very sniffy. Bit of a tickly older. Uh... I was kind of hoping that by now we would have been able to um. Do a bit more damage. Our DPS seems really kind of shocking compared to what I would expect it to be versus those things. Because we're going to see them again soon. And um, would not like to have to deal with them uh, with this little damage. You know, we've got constant crits going on here, and then they're just standing up to them. <sighs> Not a good time. Right, here we go. You be gone. Quick, before that thing shows up. Here we go. Ow. Use this. It's fine. Don't worry. Right, not. At least those things are squishy. I don't like the fact he rolls too far. I'd like him to roll to just behind the enemy, such that it's in exactly the right place, and I don't have to think about it. Got it. You be gone. Um, my phone was in this gap, so. Most, if you've got a, a siding on your bath, you'll find that there's a, a gap. There's a lip to the bath. And then maybe you have a shelf between that and sort of the, the getting out of the bath. So if you have anything surrounding your bath, it's not just, you know, there's the edge of the bath. There's uh, an enclosure, which gives you a small space, a small shelf, at the side of the bath, outside of the bath, where you can put your phone or something, you know, if you have anything like that. I'm going to take this owl. <laughs> We're not really using the power of ice because we've got so much DPS going on, it doesn't survive. So I think we just play with the owl. Get it out. Um, and then that's where you put your phone. But between the glass door holding my hand towel in place and just sort of general everything is rubbish. So there's this gap where splashy water, if it so chooses, can get out of the bath without permission uh, and sort of pool on this shelf where I've been putting my phone uh, now we've got deeps <laughs> yeah bring it on now we haven't I can't see what's happening enough to uh, counteract any of it 
I do not have any grenades <laughs> left with which to uh, complete this task. Run away, and everything dies, and there we go. Nice. So um, my my phone has been sitting in a a minor. Oh come on. There's a reason I jumped, which is so that you couldn't get me. <laughs> okay, I'm on base. No Tiggy Butcher. Come on, Owl. You and me. I... But why has everything got a different... Exclamation mark timer. Huh? Tell me this. Don't pretend it's not true. It's stressful. Give me that. Architect's key. Found in a wall. It was. I do not know. Here we go. Right, good. That was easy. <laughs> this game is easy. What are you talking about? My phone's been sitting in a pool of water and I haven't realised. And of course, I've been using my phone with slightly wet hands. The, uh... The... <laughs> The, th the thing, the... What is this place? Strange idea, but no money. Artifact type hole in the door. Oh, very subtle. Um, okay. I can't remember if we do anything here or care to. I haven't been to the graveyard for ages. Um, like, the, the towel gets damp pretty quickly if you use your phone more than a couple of times plus don't forget the water's been splashing out of the bath anyway so the towel's absorbing a lot of the water that is now standing <laughs> in a little pool at the, on the shelf at the edge of the bath with my phone in it my phone does have a case but apparently that's not enough either close a crossbow or ice grenade which is exactly as good as the previous ice grenade so who cares which I, I probably should have done that in the first place I know that the fire is um Hello? Game, why? The the fire is damaged over time. It's, it's DPS. It's probably good for us, but the ice is just a better grenade. So keep hold of it for now and, and see if there's a reason to do otherwise. Stop with the cursed treasures, please. Especially if there's nothing for me to kill. Although with the bird, there's no cooldown after you get the bird out for the first time. There's only a cooldown on the second time, which is not something I realised until now. This is interesting. I'm going to say no, but it's a very tempting thing. Um, my phone has... There's, it wasn't until I got out of the bath that anything was wrong. And what my phone did was I tried to share a link on Slack, at which point it spazzed out. Now, I, yeah, okay. I've since learned to just stop using Slack on your phone. And you won't have a problem. But... Uh, I, I was at the time. I honestly do not think that Slack is very good at all. Anyway. Run away. <laughs> Let me out. Oh, I'm scared. These things count. I don't think minions count, do they? Keep going. Keep going. Nope. <laughs> I really don't know what to do here because this is very difficult. The, the baddies won't go away. <laughs> go away! Oh, that was close. See how close that was? Nice. 
Oh, Risky trying to get me to do a parry job. <laughs> there you go, we made it through. It, got, it works, it works after a while. And we won uh, not very much from it because the cursed treasure was a little bit disappointing, but we got something. We got our confidence, we got our winged beneath our wings. Uh, it, it said it was overheating. <laughs> That's what my phone said. It said, go away, I'm too hot. I went, uh, excuse me? Networking. Um, he said, stop, whatever you're doing, stop it. It's too hot. <laughs> the phone's too hot. I'm like, okay. Uh, Slack has done something horrible to my phone because it doesn't even feel hot. So I, I let it sort of chill out and cool down and stuff. And, um, well, I tried to. But it didn't seem to want me to. But I thought I did that right, but I didn't. So there you go. I'm guessing that that simply hurts it from afar because it doesn't seem to do anything to prevent it from doing that to me again. Will you stop coming with... Yeah, it did. Fair enough. What? You can't just start a chain of what have you between your mates, you know? You can't just decide that these two things get to be linked together. That's not how it works. You know, you need some... I kind of like the sepulcher, actually. We don't tend to get very It's not going to help us with the bird. And we're going to be losing our owl a lot, but it's easier than the sanctuary. <laughs> ah. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. So I assume that Slack had done something stupid, which I still, honestly, am this far away from believing. And uh, I, uh, I left it to chill out. And then the next time it did anything, it just decided that it was going to be... Well, there you go. So we've upgraded it again. Um, it's going to switch off. So I to turn itself off. Somebody explain to me the uh, nature of this um, underground thingy. <laughs> I've done nothing to... Um, hey, what? There's money. The, the underground thing where it said, hey, this is not very subtle. Somebody explain the subtlety of it to me because uh, I feel like I should be able to go in here. But I, I, I can't. Now, the next time it happened, it said, I'm going to switch off until you've cooled down. Okay. And then I was like, okay. <laughs> you have to. Or it's locked. I don't. Oh, this is it. I don't think so. It doesn't look very. Uh... No. I'm just going to have to explain that to me. You know what? Let's um. Rome. This window, please. Monitor. Dead cells, cavern. Accessing the cavern. Don't know how to turn the cavern key, which can be found in the large hole in prisoners' quarters. We missed it. So we're going to have to come back for that. To the sepulchre! That's a shame. Because if I'd known, I would have done that this run. Um, Reddit said it was probably water damage. Because uh, if not, then your phone's dead forever. <laughs> Great, thanks. Uh, it turned out to have been water damage, but that took two days. During which, I um, definitely may have on running around town trying to figure out how to replace this thing it turns out not as many things as I thought were reliant on me having a phone but one thing that is reliant on me having a phone is being able to do my job when I get to work 
So, um, do, 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 do. Uh, I, I'm glad that I managed to resolve it before that became a problem. And do you know how I resolved it? Leave me alone, you. Well, the way I resolved it, if you would care to stop poisoning me all the time, was to, um, yep, yeah, OP. I put it in rice. That's what you do if you get your phone wet. You put it in rice. True story. Don't even pretend you don't know that. Um, two days, basically, since it happened. But also, I then put this thing, this sort of box of rice and phone, on the radiator to try to encourage any residual water inside the thing to, to evaporate and be absorbed by the rice. And it did work. Um, but it was the weirdest phenomenon because... The first thing it did was tell me that uh, it was overheating and was going to not switch on. And I spent ages trying to boot it into recovery mode. Honestly, I think the HP here is quite valuable. Um, and the, the, the way it was behaving was extremely inconsistent, which made it very difficult to really understand what it was that it wanted me to do. <laughs> Um, I would, it, it said it wasn't going to turn on until it had cooled down, which seems fair. It seems like a very useful and helpful, um, safety mechanism to stop your phone from completely capitulating if something is actually causing it to overheat. What was really happening was that the thing that told it that it was overheating was wrong. There was no heat at all. Um, and I managed to get it into the, you know, the sort of weird console thing where if you hold the right buttons down you get the, the bootloader and, uh, uh, and recovery options and stuff like that um i managed to get into that a couple of times but i've no idea how because sometimes for example i would hold down all the key combinations that should do that ow um and it would do nothing and then if i plug it in to the power see if it was going to work, it would boot into recovery. And then that happened a couple of times after in, in many, many frantic attempts to get the thing to turn on. A couple of times it would switch on into recovery mode, which was uh, very grateful for that because I, I needed it to be working if it's all the same to you. Um, but also... I would also have appreciated it if it would just stop messing around in the first place. And then one time it actually booted up all the way into actually working mode. And I was like, oh, finally, it's working. No. <laughs> Do you know what it was doing? It was complaining that now the battery was too cold and it was not going to charge. And I... How? <laughs> how do you get into this situation? What are you doing? I've noticed how these things are now all worth the same whenever you get to them. Which is good, because it means I have to faff around. Uh, there's a scroll. Nice. The, the phone went from, I'm going to remain dead because I'm too hot, to I'm not going to charge because I'm too cold. Now, I, I can understand how maybe temperature and, and chemical batteries and stuff like that all interplay such that you... There's a lot of electronics between the USB port at the bottom of the phone, if you have a normal phone and not an Apple phone, and the, um, let's see if there's a better shield. Oh, I've got <laughs> whatever. I was only going to compare it. I probably wasn't going to buy it. I don't want it anyway. Uh, which prevents you from damaging your phone by doing something wrong, like charging it whilst you're in a freezer or something, you know, maybe plugging it in. I guess what I can imagine is that maybe you would plug it into the anchor while you're in the tundra. I don't know. What would you do? Come on. Give me any one way that you could possibly think of to achieve this uh, bizarre situation where you've got your phone so cold that it's refusing to charge. But yeah, if you... If your phone is 
particularly cold. Maybe you were in like a walk-in freezer in the pub because you work in a pub or a, a restaurant or something. Um, then, you know, maybe for whatever reason you didn't have your phone switched on and then you finish your shift and your phone's freezing. Oh, you forgot it. Let's say you left it in the freezer because you're a burk. Who, who forgets their phone? Nobody. Uh sort of silly Billy would forget their phone. Uh, get me to the church on time? Too late. Nice. Probably just managed to do this, to be honest. I, I nearly made a lot of work happen with that shield, actually, which is surprising to me. It almost never happens. Still got hit. That's fine. We really should uh, try and get better with the shield. We did manage it for the longest time, and I, I think we're still a lot better than we were, for sure, but still got a long way to go before it's becoming second nature to block things rather than trying to run away from them too much. And honestly, a lot of it is simply the fact that many things are difficult to block. Uh, and no shame in admitting that, but also maybe once in a while we should try and address it rather than just uh, blindly... Oh, come on! Blindly running through. Don't even talk to me about that damage. It didn't even happen. So what damage? I don't know what you're talking about. It's You just... You're inventing things, you're dreaming, okay? Uh, shush. Well done. Failing to roll past the baddie. Oh yeah, you can teleport because you're ninjas and ninjas can do that. IRL, bro. Mark of the ninja, that is. Uh, I see an elite that I'm not going to fight. It's all the same to you. I'm going to continue to collect HP, although I'm not going to do it by putting it in purple because I think we're going a little bit too far in that respect. Uh, I will get this HP off the ground rather than using my flask because I'm not sure what's at the end of the next uh, the next interstitial section. Um, it was the bizarrest thing. <laughs> it's basically where I'm going. If your phone decides that it is overheating and then decides that it is fine... Or, or rather then decides that it is underheating. Give it a minute. It might turn out okay. No! At least do some damage once in a while. Instead of just pissing around. I find a lot of the time in this game what I've not yet figured out do not know how to get used to this, is, first of all, the cooldown on being able to uh, dodge a second <laughs> time, but also uh, roll, I mean. And then, just sometimes there's just so much happening that I have no idea what the correct timing is to allow me to um, you know, attack things without getting hit or get out of the way or, or anything like that. I keep finding ourselves in the clock room. Notice this. I haven't done the clock tower for a while. So um, it turns out that despite the fact that your phone is locked down, <laughs> and it's not only locked down in software, it's locked down in hardware, there is nothing you can do. If you want to have your phone repaired, looked at, you know, altered, fixed in any way, you have to take it to some professional who's going to charge you through the nose. You know, you could, once upon a time, if you wanted to, for example, force your phone to switch off, you take the battery out by taking the back off and removing the battery. These days, the whole thing is sealed up so tightly that you need like special heat gun and stuff like that to slowly peel the back away from the phone. And, and it's silly and it's annoying. And it's not just all of that. <laughs> On top of all of that, it doesn't even necessarily come with the benefit of being um, waterproof. <laughs> Not even slightly waterproof. I mean, come on, brother. So all of that, 
That entire level, I took so little damage that I didn't really need to use my Esther's flask at all, and yet it completely refilled it for me just before a boss fight. And now, just before the final boss fight, which is now so far away that, you know, it's a... Uh, Oh, I forgot about that. Should have blocked that, probably. Probably could have blocked that as well. I'm trying to figure out what I can block here. That, for sure. Blocked a lot there. Oh. So it's not really getting much of a say. <laughs> I want to be behind you so I can stab you. Is that too much to ask? Ow, how did you hit me? What did you hit me with? I'm not sure how many of these I'm expecting you to do, that's the thing. I mean, we're doing okay, and I'm honest, I'm really, really hardly, um, Doing much damage to it using the uh, my sword, mostly because I can't, but also because I'm trying to uh, practice shielding against this Joker. Use this. I know that's going to hit me. That's okay. We're moving too fast. Slow down. Got to make the morning last just kicking down the cobblestone. Looking for fun and feeling groovy. I, I, <laughs> I've gone silent because everything seems to be going okay. I've done most of my damage with just my shield here, which is insane. He's been running around in this fire and I've been trying to remember... I've been trying to pay enough attention to the exclamation marks to sh parry something, but I, I, I'm not getting enough. <laughs> I'm really not getting enough feedback to know whether I'm doing it right or not, which is very frustrating. Um, could upgrade it. Fire's doing so well. A five plus plus could be really good. Nah, don't want it. It's okay. So we've, again, I've accidentally gone to uh, the the castle in another hour and a half long episode, which was only supposed to be a short one because I died within 20 minutes and then, you know, <laughs> that was it. Uh, and I started a, a run that was to be, again, I mean, I did use some and I had, so that one at least filled a lot of my HP up, but we haven't upgraded the weapon that I've been complaining about so I, I honestly don't think that we're going to do very well here at all and I hate to sandbag you know I, I'm not trying to look to be the sort of YouTuber that's like oh I don't know if we're going to make it I'm not trying to I don't want to be that guy who is constantly pretending to be worried about you know the the state of the run just for <clears throat> trying to bring in a, 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 an amount of drama that the situation just really does not require. It's not like... Um, it's not... <laughs> it's so, brain. Let me block this. Oh! We could have been able to block it, but the guy below me decided to interfere. It's like banging on the ceiling. Can you keep it down up there? I'm trying to sleep. Also, that who puts that in a castle? That is extremely unfriendly. The only real um, oh god, help! <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. The only real um, like <laughs> way out that I can see right here is that maybe just maybe we can shield enough things that we get a lot of our HP back from doing so. 
I think I will go in this one against my better judgment. Is this the... I reserve the right to turn around and not fight this, <laughs> basically. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't want to be... I want to... It's not Crime Watch, okay? It, <laughs> there's, there's no drama at all here. No drama, Marco? It's not a drama-based economy. This is simply a video game. But at the same time, I want to be honest, and I'm if I'm being honest, which I am, uh, I don't think we're going to win here. don't like this at all. I forgot how much damage that actually does to them sort of in retaliation. Can you watch it? How did you get me? Wasn't even on your level, bruh. Get on your own level, bruh. Is this one I want to fight? Yes. <laughs> especially versus... Especially with my uh, birdie out here. Oh, you rolled. That's my job. Roll and no rolling. I don't really know how to fight you. I don't look like ET. That was terrible. Just makes feedback. <laughs> Apparently you can't get more than one HP back from the same enemy, so I'm not likely to get too much out of this. There we go. Uh, that wasn't so great, because you can't stab that thing in the back, which I did forget <laughs> until it started. Um, so, more for me, I suppose. That's okay. Sometimes you just have to go through. You're going through hell. Keep going. Didn't really fancy trying to parry any of that. Don't like walking out of these doors either, because you never know what's on the other side. Not ideal. Nice. Just, just watch it. <laughs> just run away. Running away is a perfectly valid tactic. Run further away. Be good. We are getting HP from shields, right? That's what that plus on the shield actually means. It's not just pretending to me. You're not fibbing. Is there anything up here? Something up there. This way it has a birdie in it. You have to block melee attacks? I don't even know where I am anymore. <laughs> Which one's me? I don't think it has to be melee attacks. Maybe it does. I'm so perplexed. Um, just use this. You get one back at the end of everything, but we can't farm the boss for HP by shielding it. Which is my biggest, scariest problem right now. Oh, run away. Although I don't think it's the only thing we have that is giving us HP back now, I think about it. Excuse me, princess! Nice. What is my thingy doing? Box attack, critical damage. Nearby enemies. So blocking something is actually damaging everything. But the thing that I want to know is... I'm lo I, I've got damage protection from taking a hit. But the only thing I've got returning HP to me is my... Um, my shield mutation. Let's 
So, how are you getting me from up there? Can you not? I may have a little bit of a pattern going on, but I'm not sure how good it is. It's basically involving trying to figure out the correct time to press the shield button and pressing the shield button at that time. <laughs> if there is such a time. Don't get in the whirlwind. Well done. Right. Next. <laughs> Not a fan of this either. Everything catch fire down there. That's fine by me. Soften them up. If they die, they die. I'm not going to try using them to farm HP. Right. Here we go. This is our time. Doing damage to everything nearby is really the way this... Uh, Shield build is working out for me. But I have to make sure that I've stopped attacking in good time that I can actually make use of my shield. No! Bad. No! Now, I can't get much more HP back from these, I think. That's the other problem. So, I'm just going to have to make sure that I don't take any more hits. <laughs> Easy. Can't see the exclamation marks above them. Nice. In order to um, determine when they're going to attack me. Although, they did die, so there is that. Oh. <sighs> Please let there be some better weaponry because we have not really knocked it out of the park. I know this is one of my favourite weapons, but it's not really given me the everything that I need. You know. Ow. Could you not? Nice. I like it when everything lines up. Okay, because I, I roll past you, so that's not allowed. Can you stop interrupting it so that my timings are all thrown off? It is not fair. I tried to block it, but in fact, I just got hit by it. Just give me the money. Where are we going? We just walked back to the start for no reason, which is just absurd. <laughs> we might as well have not taken any of that damage than any of that moving. Anyway, so we get up at... I'm going to try some more of this story. I don't know how much time we got left. Um, we, we get up at stupid o'clock in the morning. Yes. Uh, in order to get to the hospital at stupid o'clock in the day. Um, 7 o'clock, in fact. A.M., as if there is such a thing. And as a result... Oh, this is actually the way out. We're very tired. So the original plan was to take Jane to the hospital, and then I would go back to the hotel and try and get some work done. <laughs> right? What? Not going to happen. Why did you even think that? Of course I'm not going to be able to upgrade this. That's okay, I'll ignore it. What we might want to do is reset these mutations. We're not going to be killing any enemies anymore. Uh, let me think about this for a while. Melee attack, slow down enemies. 
So what we can do is reduce the cooldown by half a second every critical hit. And we can enable critical hits as long as we can enable anything at all. Uh, we'll do that. I did not like the slow flask, but this could be good. This could also be good. I wonder what the last moment counts as in terms of that. Um, I, I honestly don't know if this is any good because you can't farm. Maybe it works on the boss, but not on the elites. I'm going to take it and see if it works for us. Uh, I'm kind of expecting it not to. Counter attack would also work really well for us. Yeah, let's try it. I, I honestly don't think we're going to make it at all, so it doesn't actually matter. Because um, we get to heal once, and then this is it. We have nothing else. We've only got 1,500 HP, which uh, 15,000 HP, which is way less than we've had in the past, despite the fact that I've got a lot of upgrades. So I uh, don't know how far it's going to go. Um, so my, my concern was that... Uh, I, my concern started off being that I was going to be too tired. Um, to get any work done, but actually it turned out that because we had to spend so long, you pushed me in. Rather you didn't. Can you not? Let me heal, you joker. There's just nothing I can do, dude. Stop taking so long over that. <laughs> Just gotta pay attention here. Basically, there's no way I'm talking about that story right now. I don't know how to fight this boss. I don't think that we had even slightly the damage output that we needed to get anywhere with that thing. The owl was not the right thing to still have at that point, and the grenade that we had was just not doing any damage at all. Um, I probably could have done a lot better with shielding, but we've already mentioned, we need to get better at shielding. So thank you for watching. I hope you join me in the next episode when I might actually get onto the next day of my complaints about this awful hotel um and yeah i hope that you will take my advice and don't use your phone in the bath unless you're very sure that you're not going to get it wet or at least you're very sure that it has some water resistance because mine doesn't and it turns out that's a possibility despite the fact that it's completely sealed with glue all over the damn place you can't even get the battery out but until the next episode thank you for watching this one i hope that you've enjoyed it and i hope that i'll see you next time and if i don't i fully understand because this is not a podcast it's a rant cast Till next time, see ya!